Mr. Lexima, how you doing? I'm doing great, sir. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you. You too, sir. Keith so Murray. Keith Murray is uh, Keith Murray's back on the news. Yeah, he's had a, a hell of a week. I should say he's had a hell of a week. I saw a video earlier this week of uh, of him dancing with some really thick sister. You know, so. <laughs> is that the one where he fell? <laughs> yeah, and then uh, he like body slammed uh, some chick while he was trying to carry her around, you know, obviously a little too big for him to... <laughs> a, li- to a little to, too to big for him. Yeah. For him. For him. He's a small guy, isn't he? I mean, Keith Murray's what? Five, six? Well, it's not that he's small. He's a, he's a thin guy, you know. Okay. So, uh, all right. Couldn't, yeah. uh, couldn't hold her up. Yeah, I mean, Keith Murray, uh, you know, uh, rapper from back in the days in the 90s, Death Squad, all that good stuff, huh? Had beef with... Uh, Prodigy had beef with uh, Foxy, right? Uh, uh, not so much beef with Tupac, but, you know, I, I think him and Tupac got into, uh, well, Tupac ran up on him with his crew, and uh, this was around the time Tupac got shot five times, and of course, you know, Who Shot You came out, right? LL mm-hmm. dropped that with Bat Joe, Foxy Brown, and Keith Murray, and Prodigy, and, you know, Tupac, and Mob Deep didn't get along too good back in those days, as you remember, huh? They, uh, yeah, because you know, uh, Keith Murray was with the, uh, you know, Red Man and and Eric Sermon. The, you know, they had their little death, the Death Squad. You know, that's what they were known as. After Eric Sermon left EPMD, that was his squad right there with Red Man and and uh, and Keith Murray. But uh, out of that, you know, there wasn't a lot of beef that came out, you know, with Eric Sermon and Redman. It seemed like Keith Murray was the one that had beef with different people. You know, again, like you said, Foxy Brown, Corrupt, uh, you know, some other people. But for the most part, he was, for the most part, it was a little, you know, low key. Like we didn't all know about everything that was going on. Years later, of course, we know more, you know, or sitting here today, we know more. Yeah, well, a, a new video of him uh, it looked like I don't know. You know, in the beginning when I saw this, the real uh, the real Pete Rock shared this on um, Instagram. You know, I thought it was Eric, I thought it was Rakim on that stage. I and, told you, uh, Rakim is uh, Rakim would never not, jump off the stage. He would never jump Rakim off the stage. would jump into the crowd. Yeah, so it was you know, find out it was Keith Murray jumping into the crowd. I don't think anyone caught him either. So. That led to a lot of comments of uh, people wondering uh, what the the health of uh, how Keith Murray's doing right now, health wise. You know, a lot of people right. are setting prayers for Keith Murray. Hashtag pray for Keith Murray is uh, is going on right now. You know. Yeah, if I don't think anything is going on, you know, that might just be him. You know, it doesn't mean anything is going on, or you know, right? It's just him. It's just him. Yeah. Right. I mean, uh, he was. I mean, what has he done since who shot you? What has he done since that? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, I don't remember when the album came out, but I do have the uh, digital album of him and and uh, Cannabis came out with a joint album together. Um, I kind of like. I like that album. It was. It was, it was good. Um, underground thing. But and, I, and you know I, I like cannabis a lot, so he's a good artist. But um, they did a, a joint album; and it was pretty good. But that was the last time I really heard from Keith Murray up until this week. You know. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep an eye on this Keith Murray. Uh, there's new sightings of Keith Murray, like the Bigfoot. You know, it just came out of nowhere. You know, out of nowhere. I don't know. It was like okay, that to jumpstart his career. You think he's trying yeah. to jumpstart his career again? What I call wrestling with the girl, then the 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 whole uh, the whole uh, jumping dive. off the stage, <laughs> and then the interviews, you know. So yeah, he's having a week. We'll see what happens. You know, hopefully everything is okay with him. But I just I think he's just being Keith Murray. So yeah, shout out to Keith Murray, man. Never forget classic. You know, the most beautiful thing in the. I mean, the song, I mean, the song came out in 94, but we rocked it in 94 and 95. <laughs> so, we rocked it. So, we, those were the days, man. We rocked it. We yeah. rocked it. Yeah. Even that Lexus That's, he had in there. 
<laughs> I mean, technically, that's one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> you know, that's one of my favorite songs ever. But I mean, of course, he's had songs after that. But um, I'm talking about that. But the first song, the first single, "Most Beautifulest Thing," was was the best. And uh, it still hit hard. Day, it hit hard back in '94. You know, yeah, it hit well, hard. I still, I still listen to it. My old school uh, playlist. I got know, it on the playlist. Yeah, yeah, I got it on the playlist. So Keith Murray, if you're out there, if you're listening, hey man, keep going strong, man. We were hoping for the best for Keith Murray. So uh, of course, anything else happens, we'll be sure to. Uh, let you know please uh, like and subscribe the video uh and uh yeah we'll keep you keep you posted um you know any Definitely. any other hip-hop news i guess it comes out regarding this you know but he's all over the news this week <laughs> definitely 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 but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and uh we'll see you in the next video guys all right, from Mr. Lexima, I'm Crazy Eddie. You've been listening to The Truth Radio. The truth will set you free, and we are 